Hey church, on Sunday we talked about family before function and how each of us have some kind of leadership within our own family or sphere of influence and how God wants us to prioritize family first because who we are is more important than what we do. Uh, but today I just wanted to take a moment and talk about practically what that actually means for the leadership process here at Impact as we've been talking about the heart of leadership in our current sermon series. Um, so if you are on the process of leadership at Impact, or if you're already a leader, what we want to talk about here is how we actually want to make sure that there's consistency in your home life. And so we like to ask uh, some questions of our leaders or potential leaders about their home life, because we want to make sure that you are consistently the same person at home, that you are at church, and that you are at work, because we think it's really important, especially based on the sermon from the previous week of how we want to prioritize character over charisma. We also want to make sure that who you are is represented well, not just when you are at church or at work work in a certain sphere of influence, but we want to make sure that you are consistently the best version of who God has made you to be in your home first because you have the greatest influence in your home. So we will ask how things are going at home, not because we want to pry, but because we want to make sure that you are healthy and that your home life is healthy because ultimately you cannot give what you do not have. And so we want to make sure that what you have is based on being healthy and strong um, it, both for yourself and for your family. And because um, we ask these questions because we care about your family. We care about you and we care about family first because who you are is more important than what you do. And ultimately for all of us, we reproduce who we are. And so we want to make sure that who we are is healthy and strong. And I also want to just give a little caveat here and say that there's also grace um, that needs to be extended in many different ways because sometimes what's happening at home may actually be completely out of your control. Uh, maybe there are decisions that are happening in your home or in your family that are not decisions that you would necessarily make or priority, uh, priorities that you would necessarily have. And so we recognize that for leaders or potential leaders, there could be things that are happening in your home life that you can't necessarily do much about. Um, but what we do in that case is we have conversations about how you can stay healthy in the midst of potentially disorder or even chaos in your home. And it doesn't mean that your home life will automatically disqualify qualify you from positions or opportunities of leadership. But what we do want to do is have an open, ongoing conversation of how we can best support you and help you stay healthy in the midst of potentially those situations that may be out of your control and help you find opportunities that are fitting for you in that season of life as you may be going through some uh, more difficult times. And we also want to make you aware that being a leader also does make you a bit of a, a greater target for the enemy because we know that if the enemy can take a leader down, um, then those who they, they influence can be taken down. So we also want to make sure that you're in a place where you're ready for leadership and that's why we like to ask those types of questions and to make sure that you do have the right kind of support in place if you are in places of leadership. So the same way that we follow up with all our leaders or potential leaders and ask questions like, you know, how is your devotional life and how are you staying healthy? We also like to have these kind of conversations about how is your home life? How is your family? How are your children doing? And, and make sure that you are healthy on every level. Because the one thing that is really important for us here at Impact is we want to make sure you're healthy, but also that your family and your children in particular are healthy healthy and that they see a, a good example of what it's like to love Jesus, to follow Jesus, and to serve Jesus. Because unfortunately, in our world today, there are many, many examples of people that um, have great ministries, great influence, but their home life is falling apart. And as a result, many times, children actually have no interest in following Jesus. They want nothing to do with God or nothing to do with church. And that's why we say that here at Impact, it's really important for us that it's family before function, because we will never 
ever here at Impact ask you to sacrifice your children on the altar of ministry for the sake of just doing great things because we believe that your first and foremost and most important ministry is actually in your own home to your spouse or to your children or maybe you're not married. We still want to see the same principles in place that you have healthy relationships around you and that you are a good example. Um, but just like we don't want you to sacrifice your children on the altar of ministry, we, I actually want to just flip it to the other side of that coin and say, we also would encourage you to not just put all your effort and all your time only into your family, only into your children, or only into their hobbies or interests or education or whatever at the expense of serving Jesus. Because what we want to see is we want to see a healthy whole family that actually serve Jesus together. And if your children see you have a healthy, strong life, devotional life with Jesus, how you love him and you love his church, you're going to actually influence them to want to have a healthy, strong devotional life and love Jesus and love church and love to serve him. And the wonderful thing is we believe in family ministry. We believe that you can serve God together with your children. And if you put family before function, you can do just that. And we want to make sure that our leaders are people that are strong, and we encourage you to leave a legacy for your children of what really matters. There are many things that are good to encourage your children to do, and many ambitions they can have, and you can support them in that. But the most important one is to teach them to love Jesus and to serve him with their whole heart. And so when we talk about the heart of leadership here at Impact, that's why family before function is so important. But ultimately, we want to encourage you, serve Jesus with your family. And I want to end by just reading a verse from Psalm 45, verse 17. It says this, I will make your name to be remembered in all generations, and therefore the people shall praise you forever and ever. What an opportunity we have to lead by example. And as leaders in the kingdom of God, we can set the example for generations to come. Bless you, church, and have a great rest of your day.